Program cell death, which is also known as apoptosis, is a process by which the body gets rid of cells that it doesn't need or that might be dangerous. And it needs to do this to make sure that the number of cells doesn't get out of control, such as in cases of cancer, or to get rid of cells that are dangerous, such as in the case of virally infected cells. One of the key steps in cell death is that holes are punched into a membrane in the cell, the mitochondrial membrane. And once this happens, it's a point of no return. The cell is going to go on and die. The main group of proteins that are responsible for controlling programmed cell death are the BCL2 proteins. And the function of these proteins were first, was first discovered here at the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute back in 1988. And one of the ones that we're interested in is a pro-death protein called BAX, which once it becomes activated, tells the cell to die. BAX is responsible for punching these holes in the membrane, but we haven't understood how it does it until our recent work. What happens is that BAX disentangles into these two domains, the core domain and the latch domain. The core domain can then go on and form larger units, and those larger units we think integrate into the membrane, and then that core domain can go on to do the killing of the cell. To understand the way that these proteins look, we use a process called protein crystallography. This involves taking the protein that we're interested in and growing a crystal of it. And once we have a crystal of it, we can take it to the synchrotron. And at the synchrotron, we shoot it with the high intensity X-ray beam there. Once we shoot it with that X-ray beam, we're able to derive the way the protein looks on a three-dimensional atomic scale. Once we understand the way the protein looks, we can think of ways we can target that protein with therapeutics by designing drugs that can either inhibit it from working where we don't want it to work, or activate it to, to work in situations where it doesn't work enough. These results give us an entirely new way of thinking about the way that cell death works by this protein BAX, and gives us new ways of thinking about the way that BAX might function in diseases where you have excessive cell death, such as neurodegenerative diseases, or not enough cell death, such as cancer. Without the Australian Synchrotron in Victoria, this work wouldn't have progressed nearly as fast as it did. Access to those world-class facilities has been a vital part of this research.